today well first of all this is gonna be the last video of the year so I hope you guys had a I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas and I hope you guys have a Happy New Year. Also, today is Princess' birthday. She is turning two and she is so excited. That's why she's like all over me because she's so excited. But today's video or topic for today's video is going to be how to start a YouTube channel with under $10. Now, the reason why I wanted to do this video was because, like, I have a lot of people who come to me and say that they don't want to start their channel because they don't have this type of camera or this type of software or they don't have something, like, some type of equipment that they think they necessarily need to start a YouTube channel. Now, I'm never going to lie. I'm never going to flex. When I start my YouTube channel, I spend money on the software because of the type of stuff I was using so when I first started my channel I used a camera and I don't I can't remember the camera's name because it's my ex's but I'll insert it either somewhere in the video or I'll um leave it down in the, in the description box so I used his camera and he had all these types of different lenses and all that and well technically I still didn't pay for anything because I didn't I didn't pay for the camera but I did spend money on a software to edit my videos. Now, if you go and look at some of my other older videos from maybe my eyebrow tutorial up until I think my hair products that help my hair grow video, those videos were used with that software and with my ex camera. And then from the hair product that helped my hair grow video and beyond I've been solely recording on my iPhone I've been editing on my iPhone and uploading videos and all that through my iPhone so let's get into the stuff that you can use up until the point you think you need those expensive equipments and stuff like that <clears throat> So, first thing you need is obviously a phone. Um, I can't say anything for Androids. I haven't had an Android since like my junior year of college. So I can't tell you if Android have the capability of recording videos and having some type of software on in their app store. I don't know. So this so I guess this video is going to be, you know, like for iPhone users or if you already have some type of recording camera. So first thing you need is a camera. Now, um, if you look at a lot of my videos, you can see that I incorporate zoom in, zoom out, zoom out, um, musics and all the different types of swipes and all that. Now, all of that is um, done through iMovie. I, hey, hey, hey. What are you eating? Stop. Get up here. Now, iMovie is a free app on the iPhone. Of course, if you have, I think, an iPhone 6 or lower, which you shouldn't, <laughs> you may have to download the actual iMovie app. Um, so, um, yeah, so that's one application that you don't have to pay for. Um, another thing that I use in my videos are uh, voiceovers. So depending on like the type of environment that you live, live in, you may have a lot of siblings in your house or you may live, live on your own. You can either do your voiceovers just through solely on the microphone, you know, on your phone, or... The headphones that came with your phone <laughs> like you can just use the headphones on your phones to do your voiceovers so that's what's that that's two things so your phone which technically you pay for but I mean we, we don't you don't you don't buy a phone to do YouTube videos you, you feel me you use a phone to use a phone so your phone and headphones 
and the iMovie software, which is free. Now, a lot of the applications that I use, like, on my phone for, like, my thumbnails or, like, my actual intro, those applications are free. So, I take, you know, I take a picture for my thumbnail or I will screenshot an image from the actual video and then I'll use some form of editing app to edit my thumbnail. Um, so what I'm currently using now is InstaShot, if I'm not mistaken. It's where you can try, you know, where you crop your pictures to fit onto Instagram or any other social media platform. That's what I use. So I use like their texts and all of that to create the thumbnail. Now, what I use to um, create my intro, I can't remember the name of the application. I will insert it inside the video. But I think I believe I used two, so I will leave both of them in the video. And I just took videos of myself. I believe they were they were all Snapchat videos, and then I just added like the little glitchy effect to the video to make it look a little bit cool and stuff like that. Um, another thing or another application that you can use when putting music onto your phone you can use two you can you have to use two different applications so one of the applications is going to be called documents um i think i'm gonna leave all screenshots of what all the apps look like to throughout the video so you guys can know what they look like and so you can know what you're downloading so one of the um applications is called documents and then you'll have to use a music stream or video streaming app. And I use YouTube. So I will copy and paste the link of the music um, video per se into the documents app. And then uh, it's, it's a lot. Like I really can't explain it while I'm showing you guys. And I'm going to try to figure out how I can show you guys how I do that on my phone some type of way. But if you are interested in that type of video of me putting music onto my actual videos, just give this video a thumbs up. And I can try to get that video out to you guys as soon as I figure it out. So besides applications and the actual phone and headphones to use when starting a YouTube video... The only other thing that I actually pay for out of my own pocket to do YouTube videos is my tripod. The tripod that my phone is on, that's the only thing I paid for when doing my YouTube videos was just solely using my phone. Now the tripod that I got, I will link that down below. I got it from eBay. I'm pretty sure it was way less than ten dollars. Might have been like six or seven, but it's a tripod and it's Bluetooth activated. It comes with a remote that I don't know where it is, and so like when I take my thumbnails, I would you know do whatever pose and then put my um, phone either on a timer or I would just press the button to take the picture. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna leave that. Um, link down below because I can't really remember what's the name of this tripod or anything but I'm pretty sure if you go through Amazon or eBay you can just type in Bluetooth tripods and then you know that it will just pop up um am I missing anything else I think that's everything yeah that's everything so Let's recap a little bit. So in order to start a YouTube channel, if you're using an iPhone, Android users, you may have to do some research. Or you can, um, once I put the apps, all the apps that I use um, in the description, comment down and tell me if they're in the Android store too. And so people who use Android, who may have a good quality camera, can also, you know, access those um, applications as well. So to start a YouTube channel, you would need some form 
of either your iPhone or if you already have some type of camera that's capable of taking long or short or short uh, recordings. So that's one. Um, headphones or some type of microphone if you already have one to do your voiceovers. Certain applications to edit, to trans or convert music from a video form into a, a, an audio form um, into your videos. And a tripod if you already don't have access to one already. So yeah, those are the things that you need to start a YouTube channel with under $10. So, if you, what the hell? She's underneath the bed. And I like when she's in the video when I'm doing this part. But, so, if you like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. Uh, don't forget to follow me on all other social media platforms to keep up with me, to know what I'll be posting, when I'll be posting, and to be included in any votings on what videos you guys want to see, whether it's story time or hair related. And that's about it. I hope you guys have a happy new year drink responsibly. This video was not sponsored in any form or any type of way. Uh, comment down below to say happy birthday to Princess. Like I said, she's turning two tonight. And as always, I love you guys. And I'll catch you guys in the New Year's video. Uh, 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 uh.